Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to use MS Word Home tab. Open the MS Word, go to Start menu and go to MS Office. Here I can see that MS Word 2007. Just click on it. Once you click on MS Word 2007, it opens its blank page. Dear viewers, today I will show you how to use the different options of home tab of MS Word 2007. Before I start this tutorial, we must set a page layout. Just go to page layout and select the size of the paper as A4. I also set the orientation. It is very important. We can choose portrait or we can also choose landscape. Now I am going to choose the portrait one and margin as normal. Okay, now I will show you how to use the different options of home tab. In order to type the paragraph, I have one shortcut key that is equal to rand open and close bracket and press enter. This automatically generates the three paragraphs. Okay, now we will add its heading as tutorial. Let's start. In the home tab, here we can see that. In the MS Word, we can see that we have many tools. Today I am going to explain about home tab. Now, in home tab, we have many options. I will explain you one after another. In clipboard option, I have cut, copy, format, render and the paste. In order to perform this, we must select some text. Just select this text. Here, when we copy this, I am copying it and here I am pasting it. Just click on paste. Here I can see that the same paragraph is copied here. And if I want to cut this, just select this and just click on cut. And its shortcut key is Ctrl X. Just click on cut. Here I can see that that paragraph is cut from here. And here I can paste it. Just click on paste here and its Ctrl. And its shortcut key is Ctrl V. Just click here paste. In this way, we perform the cut, paste, copy operation. In order to apply the font, just select the text. Here I can see that we have different style of the font. I can choose any of the one. Choose any font, whichever you want and click OK. I can also apply the different font here and click on OK. In this way, we can apply the different fonts to our text. Now, I will show you how to change the text size. I am selecting the text, just select the text and go to the size. Here, I can change the size of whatever you want. I am selecting as 28 points. Yes, here I can see that the size of the font is changed. I can also use this direct button to grow the font or to shrink the font. Directly we can do this in order to increase the size and we can in order to decrease the size of the font we can click this one. We have shortcut keys for the same Control plus increment symbol and control plus decrement symbol. Now I will show you how to apply the bold italic option. In order to perform the bold, just click on this B symbol or we can or we can also use the control key as a shortcut. Just click on it. Here we can see that the text is bolded. In order to remove the bold again, just click on it. Here I can see that the bold is removed. In order to perform the italic, just select the on text and click on the size. I can also use the shortcut key as a control file. Just click on it. Here I can see that the italics is applied to this text. We can also apply the underline. Just click select this text and apply the underline. Yes, I can see here the underline is applied to this text. I, I have different options of underline here. Just click this drop down menu. I have different underline styles. Select the whatever you want. I am selecting this. Yes. In this way, 
I have applied the underline. I have option of strike tool. Once I apply the strike tool, select the font or select the text to which you applied, to which you apply the strike tool. Just click on it. Here I can see that the strike tool is applied to the selected text. Now I will show you how to use the subscript and superscript. Assume that I am typing the date. 1st July 2020. Okay. Now, in order to make this as 1st July as a superscript, first just click on this that becomes superscript. Here I can see that this is superscript. Sometimes we also need the subscript. I have the number is called Excel. I want this end to be subscript. Just click on the subscript. In this way, here I can see that the subscript is applied to the selected text. In this way, I can use the superscript and the subscript. Now, coming to the one more important function of the fonts that is changing the case of the selected text. Here I can see that I can change the selected text case. I can make it sentence case, lower case, upper case, capitalize of each word, or I can also make it common case. I will make it as Sentence case. Just click on the sentence case. Here I can see that the sentence case is applied. Now make it as lower case. If I apply the lower case, then all the font case becomes lower. Just click on it. Here I can see that all the fonts have become the lower case letters. Now in order to make it upper case, just go to this one and click on upper case. Here I can see that all the fonts have become the uppercase. Now I will tell you how to apply capitalize each word. If we apply this capitalize each word, then the first letter of each word becomes a capital letter or the uppercase letter. Just click on it. Here we can see that each letter of this word has become the capital. Now in order to make it toggle, just click on Toggle this. Here I can see that one letter becomes uppercase and another becomes lowercase. In this way, the toggle option is used. And this is the highlighter one. In order to apply the text highlighter, just select the font and click on the text highlighter. When it highlights the text, we can also change its color. Click on this drop down menu, we can also choose its color. Similarly, to change the font color, just click on it. Here I can choose the font color. Yes, here I can change the font. Now, this is the clear format button. Select the text, and if you want to bring this text the default format, or in order to clear the format which we have applied to this text, just click on clear format. Here we can see that this text is this text becomes same as that of its initial form. Now coming to the paragraph. Here I can see that the different align. This is the align the text on the left side. If you want to click this just click on the align text left side. Here the text is aligned on the left side. We can also use its shortcut key that is called here. Similarly, if I want to align the text the center, just click this or press Ctrl E as a shortcut key. Here I can see that here I can see that the selected text is aligned to center. Similarly, if I want to align to the right side, just click this icon. That is align text to right side, or we can also press the button bar. Just click on it. It is aligned to the right side. Similarly, I can justify the paragraph. Here I can see that in this paragraph, at the end of the line, we have left with some space. In order to justify this with margin, just click on justify. Here I can see that it is this is aligned to the margin. This is called justify. 
we can also use the control J as the shortcut key. Now let's see how to change the space between the lines. In order to change the space between the line, just select the text line, click this option. Here I can see that the line spacing can be selected. It is ranging from 1 to 3. I am selecting it as 1.5. I can also customize the line spacing. Just click on the line spacing option. Here I can select or here I can enter the line spacing option. I am entering it as 1.8. And here I can select it for single line or for double line or at least one or exactly or apply to the multiple one. I am selecting as single one and just click on OK. Here I can see that the line spacing is applied. In this page, we can see that there is a space between a paragraph. In order to remove or add the space between the paragraph, we have to use this following option. Let's go to line spacing. Here we have the option called add space between paragraph or remove space of the paragraph. If you want to add the space before paragraph, just click this. Here I can see that the space is added. If you want to remove the space after the paragraph, just select the paragraph and use option and new space. Here you can see that the space is removed. Again, I will apply this and add the space before the paragraph. I have selected the text, click on add space before the paragraph. Here we can see that the space is added before the paragraph. Apply the shades to the selected text or selected paragraph. Here I can see that I can choose a different color. Just select the color and here I can see that the shades the shade is applied to the selected paragraph. Similarly, I can also apply the borders to this selected paragraph. Just go to this option here. I can choose any border. Just just select whatever you want. I am selecting it, selecting it as outside borders. Just click on it. Here I can see that the border is selected. Similarly, I can also apply the border to this one. Here I can see that the border is applied to the selected text. Now coming to the a few more important options of the paragraph. That is bullets. Now I will show you how to apply the bullets. Assume that I have name of four bullets. Let's apply the bullet. Here I can see that I can apply the different styles of the bullet. I will choose any of them. Just click on the style whichever you want. Here I can see that. As I change the bullet style, that also gets reflected on my selected text. I am selecting this. Here I can see that the bullet style is applied to my selected text. Similarly, I can also change or also or I can also define the bullet style and the level system. Beside of bullet style, we have numbering. Here I can choose any format of the numbering. I am choose, I am going to choose the simple one. I have selected this here. I can see that the numbering is applied to this selected text. This is multi-level list. I can also apply the multi-level list. Let's see how to use it. In order to apply the multi-level list, here I can see that I have different style. For the sake of convenience, I am going to define the new multi-level list. Click on just multi level list. For the first level, I need the numbering that is, I am going to select as number 1, 2, 3. For the second level, I am going to select as ABC. For third level, I am going to select as Eagle. Click on OK. Let's see how to apply it. Once we set the multi-level list style. Now it's time to apply it. Now I am applying, I am selecting the first item. I go to this multi-level list, go to change the level list. This is in the first level, just click on the level one. And the month is 
In second level, just go to multi level list, go to change time, and here you can see that the month comes under the year. Now, selecting the date, it is in level 3. Just go to change level list and select it as bullet. In this way, the multi level list is online. Now, coming to the next option, that is decrease indent or increase indent. Select the text. Now, I will increase its indent. Just click on it. Here I can see that its indent is increased. Similarly, if you want to decrease its indent, just click on it. Here I can see that its indent is decreased. In this way, these two options are used. Now, coming to the sort option. This option is used to sort the text as well as the number. For example, I will take few numbers, that is Okay, here I have few numbers. Let's sort it with the help of this sort option. Just click on it. Here, the sort by paragraph. Here, I can select the text, number, as well as date. For, for instance, I am selecting the number and I am selecting it as descending. And click on OK. Here, I can see that the selected numbers are sorted in descending order. This icon is used to show the paragraph and other hidden formatting symbols. Just click on it. Here I can see that wherever I use the tab, I will get this type of symbol. For space, the hidden symbol is dotted. Similarly, for the tab, the hidden symbol is arrow. These are all the hidden symbols for various functionalities. In order to disable it, just click it once again. This is about the paragraph. Now, I will explain you about the styles of home tab. Now I will show you the styles of the home tab. In the style tab, here I can see that we have different styles for normal font, for heading 1, heading 2, and for title, and for the subtitle, and for the course, and for the captions, book titles. We have different styles. We can choose these styles accordingly. For example, this is the title one. I am going to select it as title. Here I can see that its font size is applied to it my title. This is the heading one. I can apply this as heading one. Similarly, this is my heading two. I can apply this as heading. Now I can also set my own style. For example, here I can see that. I will apply some style to it and make some changes here. Make the font size and then italic underline. Now, this is the style I have set for this paragraph. I can also apply this same style or format other paragraph. Let's see how to do it. In order to perform it, just go to save selection as a new quick style. Just click on it and name it as style 1. Click on OK. Now, I am going to apply this to first paragraph. Just select first paragraph. Go to styles and click on style 1. Here I can see that the same formatting style is going to apply to the first paragraph. Just click on it. Here I can see that this paragraph and the last paragraph is the same format. Now, I will show you find and replace option under home tab. Just click on find and type the word you want to find. I am typing it as document. Just click on next. Here I can see that the find option has highlighted the document word in our file. Just again click on find next. Again it has highlighted in this way. In this way it finds the word. Now, now I am going to explain you about a replace option. Here I can replace the word. Now I am going to replace the word document with the document file. Wherever the document word is there in my file, I, that is going to replace by the document file. Just click on replace. Here I can see that the document is replaced with the document file. If you click on replace all, that all document words is going to replace by the word 
the document file just click on replace all here we can see that nine replacement has taken place just click on ok here i can see that the document is replaced with the document file in this way the replace works similarly the go to option here i can go to a particular page particular section particular line or i can go to a particular book type the page number and click on next now coming to the select option here in select i have three options that is select all select object and select the text with similar format if we click on select all it's going to select the entire text in my file now i am going to explain you about select text with similar format in this file we can see that the paragraph 1 and paragraph 3 has same formatting style in order to select this third paragraph just click on this first paragraph and if we click the select text with similar formatting this this option also selects the third paragraph just click on it here i can see that the first and third paragraph is selected similarly if i want to i can apply this format to the last paragraph just go to go to format painter and apply it now again select this first, first paragraph go to select and select with similar formatting here i can see that the first and third as well as the fourth paragraph is selected in this way the select text with similar formatting option works thank you